Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. The topic that we are going to look today is set theory. So in the previous videos of set theory, we have dealt with the two important concepts of solving the problems with the center value and without the center value. In today's videos, we will be solving the various simple problems that falls under the set theory concept. So let's get started. So the question that I have given is, in a class of 100 students, 35 like signs, 45 like max and 10 both. How many like either of them and how many like neither of them? So you know the formula n of a union b is equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. So this is the formula that we are going to use to solve this problem. So here they have told that there are 100 students and they like 35 like signs and 45 like max. So n of s union m is equal to n of s plus n of m minus n of s intersection m. So what are the values that they have given? So the value that they have given is 35 students like signs plus number of students who like max is 45 minus n of n intersection is nothing but both which is 10. So 80 minus 10 is 70. So this is nothing but how many like either of them? Either signs or max is nothing but n of s union m which is 70. What is the other part of the question? They are asking how many like neither of them. Who doesn't like both signs and max? So we know either of them which is nothing but 70. And we know the total number of students which is nothing but 100. So neither can be found out by 100 minus 70 which is nothing but 30. So let's solve another problem. The next question that they have given is, in a group of 115 people, their proof identity was verified. So some had passport, some had voter ID and some had both. So the number of people who had passport is 65 and the number who had both passport and voter ID is nothing but 30. So what the question is, the question is how many had voter ID only. To understand this, let's draw a Venn diagram. So they are saying, to, this is let's say this is passport and this is voter ID. They are saying 65 had passport and 30 people had both passport and the voter ID. So the total number of people they took the survey is 150. So we are going to use the same formula to solve it. So N of P union V is equal to passport and voter ID. N of P plus N of V minus N of P intersection V. So, we know the total number of people is nothing but 115. N of P is nothing but 65. Plus N of V, we don't know. We are going to find it. We, and N of P intersection V is 30. So, 115. 65 minus 30 is nothing but 35. So, is equal to 80. So, 80 is the number of person who is having only voter ID. So what did we do here? To understand this better, we drew a Venn diagram to know which one we have to exactly find it. So the thing that we have to find is voter ID only. We just use the normal formula that we have. Then we substituted it and then we got the answer. Let's solve another problem. So the next question that they have given is, there are G number of first year students. M is the number of students who took max course and L is the number of students who took the language course and B is the number of students who took both max and the language course. They are asking you to find the percentage of students who neither takes the max course or the language course. So here they haven't given you any value. So obviously in your options you will be having an equation which you need to find out with the given question. So similarly let's find out the number of students who like either of the courses. So which is nothing but n of m union l is equal to n of m plus n of l minus n of m intersection l. Here n of m is nothing but m, n of l is nothing but l minus n of m intersection l is nothing but b. So this is nothing but g. So g is equal to m plus l minus b. So what are they asking for? They are asking for the neither of them taking the course. So neither is nothing but g minus m plus l minus b which can be rewritten as g minus m minus l plus b so are they asking for this equation no they are asking for you to find the percentage 
percentage is nothing but we know the neither value which is nothing but g plus b minus m minus l divided by the total number of students which is nothing but g into 100. Simple right. So what we did we use the same formula that we used to do instead of number here they have given you a variable here. Variable will be substituted in the place of the formula and then here the question is to find the percentage. We know percentage is nothing but the given value divided by the total into 100. So that's what we have done here. So in today's problem we have dealt with the three simple problems that falls under the set theory category. In the upcoming videos, we will be dealing with few other problems that might fall under the set theory category. So, if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register on our freshersworld.com. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.